Oh, two quick frees. That'll be a first. <laughs> Craig, the game finally upon us then after a long, long wait. How difficult has it been for you as a group to sort of get your heads around what's been going on? Um, not really. We've known for a while now um, that, that this was, was going to be the date and um, you know, you, we just had to, to adapt. There was no way the game could have been played before. Thankfully, it, the, the situation has allowed the game to, to go ahead now and it's just for us, it's, it's about a, a game of football and preparing the best we can to, to go out there and try and win. You've had a, a long, very successful career at the top level, but is it fair to say that the scrutiny, the focus, the pressures around this game are a, are a bit unique? Yeah, but I think being away with the, the squad helps that. We're, we're kind of shielded from everything that's going going on on the, the outside and we just prepare like any other game that, that we have done. Um, sort of right throughout uh, Steve Clark's reign here, we, we, we get together, we get organised and we, we put a game plan in place and, and try and carry it out. How much are you aware though that the eyes of not just the footballing world will be on you and the, the squad tomorrow night? Yeah, but it doesn't change anything from, from our point of view. Um, it's still still a football match, it's 11 of 11 and no matter what's going on out with that, it, it's about us sticking together and, and putting our uh, game plan in place and, and making sure we do what we, we can. Uh, if we do that, then we're, we're confident we've got enough ability in the team to, to win the match, although it's going to be a, a very difficult one. From people on the outside, it would, it would feel difficult to do that. But for you as players, is it something that automatically clicks in once you step out onto that field? Yeah, absolutely. We've been here, you know, guys have been training um, since the leagues have stopped. We've, everything's been geared towards this game and, and trying to get through it. Um, and, you know, that, that's that's no different. What, whatever other outside factors and, and what people may think, um, we're football players, we're, we're trained to to go out there and, and play football and, and that's what we'll do. How difficult is it to assess the form, the fitness even, of the opposition for this game, given the obvious of what they've been through? Um, I think from our point of view, it's about concentrating on ourselves, um, getting ourselves as fit as possible. Um, you know, summer football is never easy. People arriving at the end of their seasons and having to, to go again in, in such a huge match. So from us, it's, it's about controlling what we can control. Um, and, and that's our, our fitness and, and our tactics and making sure we, we get that spot on. Um, I, I don't think there'll be a, a huge problem. I think um, you know, Ukraine have been in a, a training camp for, for over a month now. So we are not expecting anything but their, their very best. Um, and, and we'll have to be at our best to, to try and beat them. From professional football player to professional football player, is it difficult to try and not think about what your your fellow pros have been through and what they'll be thinking about come Wednesday? I think it's probably impossible for us to actually know, um, you know, the, the full extent of everything that that they're going through. That each individual will have a, a different story, and you know, from from us, it's it's impossible to imagine. Um, you know, so I just, I just bring it back to, to what we have to do and, and that is concentrate on a, a football match. That's what, what they'll be trying to do. They'll be trying to win the game. Um, yeah, and I think it's it's virtually impossible for us to, to even realise what, what they're going through at the moment. As has already been said, the eyes of the world will be on this game, perhaps more so for obvious reasons again. Were you surprised by the comments of, of Graham Souness who said that he doesn't want Scotland to beat Ukraine? That's up to him. I do. I want to win the game. Um, he's entitled to to his opinion. Um, there'll be a, a huge uh, Scotland support inside the stadium that will we'll still want us to go out there and, and win the match. Um, so yeah, everybody's entitled to their own individual opinion. But uh, the, the 11 players that, that go out there and, and also the, the, the whole squad and, and everybody in here wants to, to win the match and, and progress to, to the next stage. So... Oh, for, for us, it's, oh, it's full of professionalism to think about the job in hand. You have analysed Ukraine. Um, Craig, how would you compare them to the team you beat in 2007? 
I'm pretty sure it'll be a whole different squad. There'll not be a single player the same, um, except me. Um, so yeah, totally different from that point of view. It's uh, football's moved on. Um, it was a a great result at home. Um, another one of those would be very welcome. Another three-one win. Um, but yeah, it, it's a it's a totally different team in totally different circumstances. And yeah, but but nice to get the same result though. Would you have thought then that 15 years later you would have still been playing in goals for Scotland? No, not at all. Um, but you know, you just never know in football. Um, I'm still managing to to play, still feel good, um, and yeah, hopefully it lasts for a for a wee while yet. But yeah, huge game. Uh, good to to be playing them again after so long and, and still be at this level. Um, hopefully the the same result. Eight games unbeaten. Is there a sense of momentum going into this game? Yeah, well, that, that's what we we had to to try and maintain that last camp. We, we managed to do that and um, to bring that form into to these games. And yeah, we, we need to try and keep that going for for as long as possible. Um, you know, this we can only take one game at a time and, and try and extend that to nine. That kind of almost goes out the window when you're you're playing in this kind of playoff uh, atmosphere where you know every every game is so important. You, you have to win to progress. So yeah. You know, eight games leading up to here we've, we've put ourselves in a good position but now it's all about this one and if we can manage to, to get through that it'll be all about the next one and, and so it goes on so yeah full focus on this one um, we'll give it our best shot to, to try and get through you, you talk about form almost going out the window because it's such a big game but how's the atmosphere on the training ground out there is it confidence because of your form or is it apprehension because the game's so big how's the mood in the camp no the, the mood's good um, we've got confidence from, from playing well and from beating good teams um, you know, so for, for us it's again it's just about controlling our emotions and, and what we can control out in the park so yeah it's been full focus in the camp on, on everybody getting to, to this point and, and ready to play and yeah we're ready for it there's going to be a huge amount of emotion kind of swirling around Hamden for this match. Take us inside the dressing room. Are you emotionally fueled as a, as a squad inside there? Is that something that drives you before a game, during a game? Yeah, I think there's also a calmness there as well um, and, and remembering our jobs and what we have to do. So, yeah, I think everybody out with will obviously be feeling the the enormity of the, the occasion, but, but certainly within the dressing room we've got... Um, you know, full respect for each other and, and ready to, to go out and and fight as a group to, to try and get through this one. Is there a, I suppose, does the clarity come then just before before kickoff? Is that something that, that has been key to you guys and the form that you have shown? Yeah, I think that comes from confidence, from, from doing well, uh, from knowing what we do works um, and having that confidence in each other that everybody within the squad can go in there and, and do a good job. It's not just been 11 players, it's been you know, a, a huge number of players that have all stepped in at different times to to make sure we've continued this run and we're, we're in a good place and, and we take confidence from that to, to go into this game and you know, know that we, we have got the quality to win it. I said you've had quite good consistency with the, with the line-ups. There's only really Kieran Tierney, I know Nathan Patterson's in the squad but coming back from injury... How much has that consistency of selection been able to kind of build that momentum? Yeah, the squad has stayed relatively the same. Um, there's been a few sort of younger ones breaking in, and, and that's great to see as well. But we we have been together for for a while now, um, and I say everybody's contributed at different times. We've we've had like three and four game camps. Where we've had to to change the squad round and the, the starting eleven, and, and everybody's managed to come in and play their part. So everybody knows that they're they're valued here and, and that we are together as, as one group um, I think that'll hopefully that'll show over the, the next week or so alright